I'll be spreading this all over to my various gardens. And I'm going to try to collect all of the worms using this bin method as I go. And all of the worms I pull out, I'll put into that box. I let the box sit here for a few days just to see what it's going to do. And it's holding. It's very moist inside. So I'm mixing this cardboard in with the bottom layer to help with that. Native soil can be dense and heavy and can create compaction in your box. Plus, worms love cardboard. Yeah, I'm just kind of making a slurry, a carbon slurry. <laughs> I need your help. It's your subscription that tells YouTube that this content has value. And without your help, videos die. This is the silk from the creek. The leaves were from the creek as well. This is the soil from higher on the hill. Biochar. Because I'm going to use the worms out of the compost, I want to make sure they have access to what they're used to. And they were born in this dirt. This stuff's rotty. Some eggshells. Banana. Variety. Old paper. Ugh. Ew, this stuff's gross. Where is my claw? I hope I didn't bury that claw in here. There's some avocado. Some other, oh, I forgot something. I've been saving these coffee grounds. Probably overdoing it. Let's see. Oh, I'm seeing some ants in here. That is disappointing. That means I've got to turn this compost pile. The pile's so small now, I'm not going to use the cage anymore. Because I'm going to start another pile. I could grab these worms, couldn't I? Gosh, you guys, the cocoons are like crazy in here. That's awesome to see. This is going to be a fun experiment. I have no clue <laughs> what these worms are going to do to the food scraps. These guys are huge. Some of these have to be. That's the, that's got to be a night crawler, yeah. Good. There's some. These apples are micro balls. This is some root material. So maybe there's a bunch of fungal spores in there. We're getting there. Vega, what you doing? That's my girl. These poor worms, <laughs> they think their whole world is upside down. I guess it is. It's about to get good though. Okay. Wow, look at that guy. Woo wee. In you go, buddy. Some of these look like red wigglers, so I think they've just crawled from the bed and are probably all over that area now. By the time I get the compost all over the garden, I'm confident I will have as many worms in the box from harvest them from the compost as if I ordered a couple of pounds from the internet. Let's dump these guys in. I'll just flip this one. Maybe there'll be a bunch on the bottom. Nobody. <laughs> these are oyster shells that I leave outside year round. So they're fully inoculated. I meant to put these lower down, I forgot them. They'll mix in as I feed. 
kelp meal. This is a little treat. This is crab meal or crab flour. They would get plenty of grit from all of the native soil that I put in there, but uh, sometimes soil can be deficient in calcium. This will take care of that. I'm going to add crushed eggshell powder. I just haven't ground the shells yet. We'll revisit this in the daylight in the morning and oh! And in the meantime, I'll grind up those eggshells. I really want to get this right. It's going okay. I wish we were catching more because now it's a race between collecting enough worms over time and the food going sour in the box. I'm going to continue to collect out of the compost pile for the next few days and I'll follow up and let you know how it goes. See ya.